my friends. It is Friday. I've had the craziest past 24 hours, but I do have a fun weekend planned, so I thought it would be the perfect chance to film. So I am currently getting ready for my day. It is 1.30 on Friday, and I have had meetings all morning. I just got out of meetings. I am actually a little bit exhausted. <laughs> it was definitely a really heavy morning, but all good things. I can't complain. I got some really exciting news about work yesterday, and I have decided that I'm going to treat myself to an afternoon antiquing, which is something I have been craving since I got back to school, and for reference, I've been here for nine weeks. I love antiquing. It is one of my favorite things to do. I could spend all weekend antiquing. I almost never buy anything because I am so picky. I am the pickiest person in the world about everything, including home decor. But every now and then you do find something and it's just such a high that I feel like antiquing is so addicting even though nine times out of 10, I don't actually come home with anything. So we'll see if I find anything today. So kind of the general plan for the day is I am about to leave to go run a few errands. One of which is I'm gonna take some clothes to Plato's closet and sell those because I've been trying to kind of declutter my life ahead of moving this spring. I'll be moving in May slash June. And I just feel like I have a lot of clutter, especially with clothes because my job being a content creator kind of in the style realm, I definitely have a lot of clothes some of which are sent to me, some of which I purchase, etc. But I am definitely not wearing everything all the time and I'm just trying to kind of cut down on clutter. So what I usually do is every two or three weeks I go through kind of my bins of extra clothes and I sort things into donate, keep, or sell. So things that I donate just go straight to Goodwill. And then things that I sell, I will take to Plato's Closet or list on Vestier Co, which is where I list kind of my nicer pieces that still have a lot of value. I'll link that in the description if you're interested in kind of shopping my closet. Anyways, I have a pile of clothes that I've sorted to go to Plato's Closet. So I'm actually going to take those there this afternoon. And while they're sorting that, because it usually takes 30 minutes or so, I'm gonna run over to Kroger and pick up a few things. One of my favorite little weekend traditions is picking up sushi from Kroger and then having it for dinner on Friday night as a little treat because I'm not really eating out much these days because I am alone and I feel like going out to eat is weird by yourself. So it's my little treat every now and then is I'll go to Kroger and get sushi because I love sushi. So I'm gonna do that and probably pick up a few other things. I'll see if they have any good flowers which they haven't lately but it is the off season so I do understand. I'm also gonna run over to the hardware store which is right next to Kroger and get some potting soil because I'm almost out and I have to repot some cuttings this weekend and then I will go to the antique store this evening and my kind of logic I don't know if you guys have been following this girl math trend on TikTok but my girl math is if I get you know 20 40 bucks from whatever I sell at Plato's closet then if I find anything good at the antique store and I use cash to pay it's basically free is girl math that's my girl math logic happening right now so <laughs> that's my kind of cheeky way of justifying going antiquing is taking some stuff to Plato's closet first we'll see how much they give me they don't normally give me a lot which is does kind of feel like highway robbery there but it's better than nothing i suppose this evening i have to do quite a bit of work because i had an exciting opportunity come into my inbox and i need to kind of storyboard and plan for those shoots because i am planning to go out and shoot the first two deliverables tomorrow morning early so i'm going to spend most of the evening planning that and then the weekend will continue and we'll see where we go from there it is going to be a really lovely weekend i am so excited I cannot wait to go antiquing. Let's get into a really fun day. I'm so excited and yeah, let's go. This is the outfit for the day. Clogs, comfy weekend essential. Got this top from Old Navy that I've had forever. My favorite Ralph Lauren hat. Fun fact, Jennifer Lawrence has this hat. Definitely not the reason I bought it. Just kidding, it is 100% the reason I bought it. I love that woman. Okay, I just got back. I wasn't able to sell my clothes at Plato's Closet because I got in there and there were like there was like a ton, like a literal metric ton of clothes already at the counter to be sorted and sold. And apparently it was all one person and I'm just flabbergasted. I don't know how anyone could ever own that many clothes. I think that's more clothes than I've ever had in my entire lifetime. So anyways, the wait was like two hours and I was like, no, I'm going antiquing. So anyways, I'll have to do that another weekend. I'm a little bummed because it cancels out my girl math, but alas, I did go to the grocery store and I... I'm kind of laughing to myself because I feel like this haul really just encapsulates me as a person. <laughs> Sushi, tea, potting mix, and nail polish remover. Like, I'm just laughing. Like that is just, 
so self-explanatory, frankly. So anyways, I'm back now. I have to go pick up a package from the office and that might be it. And then I will head to the antique store, so yay. store it was really lovely I did pick up a few things and I was kind of right in my budget range which is nice and I will show you when we get back to the apartment but I'm gonna go ahead and head back and get on with my evening hello I'm gonna take my hat off because it's putting a shadow on my face but my hair is really dirty so Fair warning. Anyways, I thought I would sit down and do a little antique haul for you. I do have whitening strips in right now, so I'm sorry if my mouth is being a little weird. Like if I'm talking weird, it's because I have whitening strips on my teeth. So it was super fun. I spent about an hour in there. I actually found some really good stuff and at really great prices. I got all three of these things, technically four, because it's a set, but I'm counting it as one thing, for $32, which at an antique store is just a steal. And my guess is that's about what they would have given me at Plato's Closet, so I'm gonna call it a win. I'm gonna take that stuff in next weekend and hopefully the girl math kind of cancels out you know this is what i got i'm gonna start with what i found first when we go in chronological order i got this adorable picture the detail on the handle and the kind of panoramic scene that it depicts and this is what sold me is the sheep I, I love the sheet. So beautiful. It does have two chips right here at the front, which I think is part of why it was so affordable. I think it was only $12. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I have a bit of a vase collection going. I love, love, love vases because I love, love, love flowers. So this is the perfect addition. I cannot wait until spring. My dream one day is to have a china cabinet, but it's filled with only vases, like just a china cabinet dedicated to my vase collection and she is the perfect addition. I love her. The next thing I found is a little silly, but I could not not do it. It's a little food bowl that says kitty on it. I do not have a cat. My roommates have a cat. It's not mine. It will not be coming with me when I move. I have my cat Calvin, my childhood cat who I love with all my heart, but he lives at home with my parents because it's not technically my cat. He's much happier at home with my parents. We've had him since I was like 11, so it would be cruel to pluck him and like make him come live my crappy student lifestyle. So I don't know. I have no practical use for this. I really do not. I don't plan on getting a cat anytime soon because I love Calvin so much that I can't imagine ever getting another cat. So I really don't know why I got this, but it was $3 and it's so cute. And I just, I don't know. It's going into storage. Maybe I'll use it one day. It's just adorable. The last thing I was looking for, I actually have a list I keep in my phone of like things to look for at antique stores, like specific things. Because obviously when you go antiquing, part of the fun is just seeing what you find. But there are also certain things I like to look for that are kind of on my antique wish list per se. And one of those things is brass candlesticks because a lot of the places that I've been looking to move next year, it seems like looking at the listings fireplaces are pretty common. Most of them aren't functional, but they at least kind of have that mantle structure. So I really want candlesticks to put on top. And I was so surprised because brass candlesticks are a very common thing in antique stores. Like, I feel like that's the number one thing you see antiquing is brass candlesticks. But I got like two thirds of the way through this antique store and I did not see any candlesticks. And I was like, what is going on? And then I finally got to this one part of the store and this one stall had like seven sets of brass candlesticks and I was like okay great so I found these I think they're adorable they're they're really nice shape and I just think they're lovely 
I think they're a nice size and they were a good price. That is the antique store haul. It was actually a really good time. I am pleased with my finds. And now I'm going to go in the shower because I need an everything shower. It's probably gonna be like an hour, but it is just, it's time. My hair is dirty. Uh, I need to shave my legs. So we're gonna go get in the shower. <laughs> and then I will probably eat my sushi and sit down to work for the evening. It's kind of getting kind of gloomy and stormy outside. It might rain, so I think it's gonna be a really lovely, cozy evening in. So let's get to it. It is Saturday evening. I have been shooting all day. I am shooting for this jewelry brand, which has been really lovely to work with. They're such stunning pieces. I just stopped at the grocery store and now I am back in the parking lot of my apartment and I am exhausted. I am so tired. I feel like shooting, especially branded content, is not only physically exhausting because I'm carrying around my camera, my tripod, my duffel bag, and I'm walking thousands of steps and all that with all that stuff, but also emotionally exhausting because first of all, I have to ignore the stares of people around, which I've gotten pretty good at, but it does kind of exhaust me a little bit, the effort of ignoring. Also just kind of always wondering if the shot is good enough, etc. So anyways, I'm tired. I am gonna go inside and put away groceries and then I think I'm just gonna work on prepping some food. So like washing some veggies, cutting up some veggies, cooking a few things that I usually do each weekend um, just ahead of the week. I think I'm gonna do that for an hour or so. And then Austin and I have our regularly scheduled virtual date night tonight. We usually watch a movie and this week it's Austin's week to choose. So we'll see what he picks. And then honestly, I will probably get to bed pretty early tonight because I'm wiped. That's the plan for the rest of the evening and I think it's gonna be a cozy one. It's really gloomy and cold outside, so I'm gonna get inside, light a candle, put on my comfies, make a cup of tea, and it's gonna be a good night. It is Sunday morning and I am on a walk. It's very chilly and gloomy and windy, but I'm wearing my barbour and I've got a thermos of tea and I'm honestly still a little chilly, but I'm enjoying it. I like the crisp, it makes you feel alive. I have a pretty boring day planned today. I am basically just going to be sitting at my desk all day. I have so much work to do. So I thought that starting the day with a walk would be a good way to kind of give myself the pep and the energy that I needed for a very long day. I'm just gonna get back and move on with my Sunday. friends it is almost midnight on sunday night and i have been sat here at my desk literally all day i think i've been sitting here for i don't know nine hours or something i got a lot of great work done I did a bunch of editing for a few campaigns i'm working on and i'm really happy with everything and i'm happy at myself for getting it all done ahead of schedule because that's always a good feeling but it was definitely not a very exciting Sunday and I'm sorry about that for the vlog's sake but it is we'll say pretty realistic this is what most of my Sundays look like I very much look forward to the day when I'm not in school and I can kind of reserve Sundays for just chilling because right now the week really has to be focused on school so the weekends are when I do most of my work and it is a little exhausting but 
just a season of life, as I like to say. Anyways, I just wanted to say thank you so much for hanging out with me this weekend. It is always such an honor that you choose to be here. I had a really fun time, even though it was a busy weekend, it was a fun weekend. Thank you, thank you for being here, friends, and I will see you in another video soon. Bye.